And the Indian Sports Network is on the air again. Okay, I was uh, wrong about uh, the game being another game between the two Ellsbury games. The Ellsbury is playing back-to-back -to -back today. By the way, this is Kenny Masterson. I'm going to be calling this game again. And good afternoon to you from Herman, Missouri, again. And this game, we're going to see the your Ellsbury Indians against the Buffalo Bison. That's a pretty unique name, Buffalo Bison. Um, so, let's see if I can get this pulled up here, and then we're going to get right into the starting lineups. Really not sure who the visiting team is and who the um, home team is on this game since neither team is at home. But anyway, we'll just start off with Ellsbury. Where'd my ink pen go? Somebody stole my ink pen. Good thing I got a spare. Okay, starting off today batting for Ellsbury is number two, Joel Mound, second base. Number 10, Bodecker, shortstop. Number 30, Hill, left field. Number 24, Rimel, catcher. Number 23, Twelman, right field. Number 20, Henry, center field. Number 5, Gladney, third base. Number 28, Stone, first base. And number 8, Thornhill, pitcher. And for Buffalo, who's also in red and white. It's going to be kind of hard to tell who's who. Number 7, Jimmy Jenkins, left field. Number 1, Jaron Smith, pitcher. Number 25, Brad Hosener, second base. Number 28, Brock Wendlet, first base. Number 6, Derek Smith, third base. Number 8, Tyler Gash, shortstop. Number 14, Trey Cruz, designated hitter. Number 5, Cameron Portis, center field. And number 27, Tyler Owens, catcher. So it looks like uh, Buffalo is the home team in this game. So Ellsbury will be up to bat first. It'll be Joel Mound batting. And just a little bit of a matchup here. These teams have never played before. Uh, Buffalo's from way down in southwest Missouri. And um, there's just a, a long ways between the, the teams, so they've never played before. But uh, this year, including Ellsbury's loss earlier today, Ellsbury is 3-9 and nine on the season, and going into that game, they allowed 3.4 runs per game, and, or I'm sorry, they made 3.4 runs per game and allowed 7.7 .7 runs per game. I don't have the updated stats on, uh, on the, the runs per game and the runs allowed per game, but now the Buffalo Bison, on their season, they are 1-14, They've gotten 2.3, they've scored 2.3 runs per game and have 10.8 runs against. So on paper, Ellsbury is the better team here. But that's why they play in person because uh, on paper isn't near as much fun. Wind is playing havoc with my stuff here. Rain before the first game, and wind now on this game. So we have Joel Mound up to bat. A blue sky behind me, and there's pieces of trees falling all over the place here.
First pitch is a call strike. Ball hit up between first and second, and Joel Mount is on with the leadoff single. Brings up Bodecker, shortstop. Throws over to first, and it goes over, and the mound is into second base. That's the way to start off this game, folks. Ball one to Bodecker. Foul ball back behind to strike one. Mound taking a pretty good lead down there. Another foul ball back behind us. One ball, two strikes. Wind is blowing pretty hard here right now. I'm going to hold on to everything. Ball hit to second base. Over to first, one out. But Mound is on third base now. Brings up Gary Kill, left field. Call strike one. Hard hit ball down at first baseline, but foul. No balls, two strikes on Hill. Joel Mound on third base with one out. They need to get him home. Ball one. All right, hit ball to second. Mound scores, but Hill is out at first, but Mound does score and makes the score one to nothing. Brings up Jake Rimel. First pitch is a call strike. Ball outside. Strike two. Foul ball. Remains one and two.
little bit of a late swing there. Another foul ball. Still one and two. Low and inside, ball two, two and two, two outs. Nobody on, one run is in already. Full count. Ball hit right back to the pitcher. And Rimmel is out. But Ellsbury strikes first. They get a run in the top of the first inning. Here at People's Bank and Trust, new technology improves our lives. We all know that, but when it comes to your money, wouldn't you just as soon deal with real people rather than recordings and electronics fingerprinting of the mega banks? We put technology to work so we can have more time for you. We're your community bank. People's Bank and Trust. Troy, Hawk Point, Winfield, O'Fallon, Ellsbury, and Bowling Green. Financial security right here at home. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. All right, we are ready for the bottom of the first inning. Ellsbury is leading this game one to nothing. And we've got Cody Thornhill out here pitching this game. Nick Stone did a good job of pitching the last game. Wind's kind of died down a little bit now. See the flag out there in center field, those briskly moving. Not doing much right here, though. Except blowing all my papers around. Hey, starting off for Buffalo is going to be number seven, Jimmy Jenkins. He is their left fielder. He coming in, going to be batting from the right side. have any way of getting any stats on these guys. Ball one. <coughs> I would like to before next year figure out some way to keep some running stats on every team. Make it a lot more interesting. As an opposing batter comes up to know whether they're a an 050 hitter or a 700 hitter? Two balls, no strikes. Call strike one. Ball three, three and one.
three and one. I thought that was three and one. Apparently that was four. So first batter is on with a walk. I missed a pitch in there somewhere. Good thing I'm not the umpire. Ball one. Looks like Nick Stone slid into the fence over there, chasing after that ball. He's up and walking, though. Okay, after all of that, if I'm right, we have one ball and no strikes. Two balls. Three balls, no strikes. All right, first two batters on with walks. Now's the time for a triple play. Brings up Brad Hosner. Fair ball down to third base line. It's going to score at least one. So, Hosner with the double, scores one. Still nobody out, runners on second and third. Buffalo gets that run back. Brings up Brock Windland. Call strike on him. He's our first baseman. Call strike two. Ball hit to second base. Throw over to first. Got the out, but runner does score. Call strike. I'll get to his name here in a second. Has to change the score. That is Derek Smith up to bat. Swing and a miss, strike two. Derek Smith is our third baseman. They still have a runner on third. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two outs.
brings up Tyler Gash. Ball high and outside. Another ball high and outside. Two balls, no strikes. And there's a base hit, brings in another run. Foul ball. That's Trey Cruz up to bat right now. Designated hitter. Buffalo has one runner on. They have Tyler Gash on first with two outs. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Ball hit to third base, throw over to second, force out. There's a out number three. But three runs were scored by Buffalo in the first inning. So at the end of one, we have the score of three to one, Buffalo. Everybody knows that high school sports generate suspense, excitement, and drama. They also generate higher grade point averages, stronger work habits, and greater self-esteem. Everybody knows that high school sports give us more value for our entertainment dollar. They also give us leaders committed to strengthening communities right here in Missouri. The true value of playing sports in school can't be measured in wins and losses or dollars and cents. Studies show that participation in sports, along with other extracurricular activities, is one of the best ways to teach leadership, cooperation, accountability, and other invaluable life skills. Don't just stand on the sidelines. Encourage the young people you know to get in the game. When you do, you'll be helping them get ahead in life. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Missouri State High School Activities Association and the Missouri Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Okay, we have uh, Colby Twelman up to bat now. He'll be leading off Ellsbury's second inning. High fly ball to the foul. Strike one. Did they call that a strike? Yes, they did. Appeal to the first base umpire, and that was strike two. And a swing and a miss, but the ball got passed, and he got on. Brings up Bo Henry now with nobody out. Foul ball back behind us. Strike one. Mm. 
Another foul, same place. Ball one. Ball two. Throw over to first, not in time. Swing and a miss, strike three. Brings up Eli Gladney, third base. One out. Twelman on first. Ball one. Throw down to second, not in time. So Trollman's into second with a stolen base. Two balls, no strikes on Gladney. Ball hit hard up between third and short. So Gladney's on with the base hit and Twelman is into third. Brings up Nick Stone. Ball high and stolen base by Gladney. They hesitated just for a second because they thought maybe Twelman would try to run from home or from third to home. He didn't. So Ellsbury with one out. Ellsbury has runners in second and third. One ball, no strikes on Stone. Two balls. Three balls, no strikes. Call strike one. Foul ball back behind us, full count. Full count on the batter, one out. Runners on second and third. The 
fake throw back to second. He's back in. <coughs> Swing and a miss, strike three. And that's two outs. Brings up Thornhill. Cody Thornhill to bat. Two outs, runners on second and third. Foul ball back here. Ball one. Call strike two. One ball, two strikes. Two outs, two runners on. Ball hit the first base, and first baseman has it, and Ellsbury leaves two more runners. Middle of the second inning, and the score is 3-1, to one, Buffalo over Ellsbury. These days, the concept of value matters more than ever. And you'd be hard pressed to find a better value than high school sports. Extracurricular activities, including sports, make up about 2% of the budget for a typical Missouri high school. In return, participation in sports promotes citizenship and sportsmanship. Sports also instill a sense of community pride and teach lifelong lessons about cooperation and self discipline. They encourage physical fitness, they produce community leaders. By offering so many benefits to the community for such a small percentage of a school's overall budget, it's easy to see why high school sports are one of the best bargains around. The real cost would come from not having them at all. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Missouri State High School Activities Association and the Missouri Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. We are back for the bottom of the second. Batting for Buffalo this inning is number five, Cameron Portis, center field. Ball gets through. Ball one. Ball hit hard to third base. <laughs> Throw it to first and he's out. Brings up Tyler Owens, the catcher. He's the bottom of the lineup. Top of the lineup will be Jimmy Jenkins. Swing and a miss. One and one. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. Two and two, one out, nobody on. Foul ball, still two and two.
Three and two, full count. Foul tip, still three and two. Inside, ball four. One out walk. Brings up Jimmy Jenkins, top of the lineup. And we've had about all kinds of weather today. It was cold and rainy when I got here. Then it was cold and halfway dry. Now it's hot and muggy. Ball one. Wind's kind of died down a little bit right now. Ball two. Ball three. Throw over to first, not in time. Call strike one. Foul tip strike two. Full count. One out. One runner on. Call strike three. That is two outs. Brings up Jaron Smith. He drew a walk his first time up. High fly ball. And Hill is underneath it for the third out. So at the end of two, the score is still three to one, Buffalo over Ellsbury. Ever wonder where your hard-earned money goes when you deposit it? It stays here, at home, to help make living here what we've all come to expect. We've got everything the mega bags do, but we've made a commitment to our community. So when you're looking for the right bank, see People's Bank and Trust, Troy, Hawk Point, Winfield, O'Fallon, Ellsbury, and Bowling Green. Financial security right here at home. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. It may not require a textbook, but it's filled with valuable lessons. It may not take place in a classroom, but it's an ideal environment for learning. It may not involve a diploma, but it can help prepare Missouri's young people for life. It's high school sports. High school sports can play a critical role in a student's overall education. In fact, studies show that students that participate in high school sports are more likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in their academic lives. If you think high school sports are only about competition, Think again. Better yet, think about attending a high school sporting event in your community. You'll be amazed by what you see. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Missouri State High School Activities Association and the Missouri Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. All right. Brings up Joel Mound to 
start off the third inning. He takes a ball on his first pitch. Ball two. I don't know if you noticed or not, but if you're having trouble telling one team from the other, they're both in red and white. There's a call strike. Two balls, one strike. Foul ball right back to the Ellsbury dugout. Two and two to start off the third inning. Swing and a miss, strike three. Brings up Bodecker. Call strike one. Hard hit ball into into left field. Drops in right underneath the left fielder. So Bodecker's on with a base hit. Brings up Garrick Hill. With one runner on. And hard hit ball, shortstop. <clears throat> Knocked it down, but was not able to reel that line drive in, and both runners are safe. Woodacre's on second, Hill's on third. Brings up Jake Rimel with one out. Foul ball. Squared up to bunt and hit it foul. Swing and a miss, strike two. Ball one. Little half-hearted swing and it struck him out. That's out number two with two runners on. Is that going to be the story of the day, just leaving leaving runners on base? Kobe Twelman up next. Ball one. Fake throw down to second. And Bodecker is on third with a stolen base. Looks like he pulled a hamstring or something a little bit. He's kind of walking it off.
One ball, one strike on Twelman. Two outs, runners on first and third. And Hill is right here. And he is safe at third. Okay, how that all played out. Ball got past the catcher. Bodecker ran home. They threw the, uh, the pitcher came in. And Bodecker was safe at home. And Hill went on to third base and slid in under. Foul ball. <laughs> Hard hit ball right to second base. But one run scored. They left Hill on left Hill on uh, third base, but one run scored. So halfway through the third inning, we have a score of three to two. You know, the people pulling the strings are usually hard to reach in today's mega bank world. But here at People's Bank and Trust, you deal with the decision maker at our community bank, which is what good banking relationships are all about. We all live and work right here. With us, you pull the strings. We're People's Bank and Trust. Troy, Hawk Point, Winfield, O'Fallon, Ellsbury, and Bowling Green. Financial security right here at home. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Tonight's game is not only a competitive contest between these two schools, but it's also an educational experience for the students involved. Because high school activities are about learning life values, your friends at this local radio station and the Missouri State High School Activities Association remind everyone to do their part in keeping our hometown sports a positive experience for everyone. When you attend your next game, do your part to help rekindle the spirit of citizenship by showing good sportsmanship. You'll be teaching a positive lesson, and you'll be preserving a proud tradition in the state of Missouri. Okay, starting off this bottom of the third inning, for Buffalo is number 25, Brad Hosner. <clears throat> he hits the ball fair down to third and gets through. So, base hit on, that should be an error actually. But either way, he's on. We now have, uh, with no outs, Brock Windlett. Call strike one. High fly ball to center field. Over Mounds head. One run is going to score. And Wendlet is into third. Makes the score four to two. Pitches a strike to Derek Smith. Hard hit ball into center field. And Mound is underneath it, has it. Or no, it's, it's, it's Bo Henry. Another run does score, though. 
Yeah, that's Bo Henry out there. It's Tyler Gash up to bat now. Foul ball right at my head. Two balls and a strike on Tyler Gash. Two strikes, that's two and two. Full count, there's controversy on what the count was. That's full count on him. And a call strike three. That's two outs. Brings up number 14, uh, Trey Cruz. Foul ball back behind us. Ball low. All two. Fair ball hit third base and they didn't have a chance to get him. Brings up number five, Cameron Portis, center field. Two outs, one runner on. Ball one. Call strike one. Foul tip strike two. And there's a call strike three. So at the end of three innings, score is now five to two. Buffalo over Ellsbury. People's Bank and Trust knows that every minute of your day counts, so it's good to have a few time savers on your side. Take internet banking, for example. It allows you to bank from home rather than having to make an extra trip to the bank just to check your balance, transfer funds, or view recent transactions. You can even pay your bills online eliminating a trip to the post office for stamps. Best of all, People's Bank and Trust offers all of this free of charge. Visit us online at www.pbtc.net and sign up today. Just another example of hometown banking the way it should be. People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. 
fans, when you attend a high school game, do you stand at attention during the national anthem? Do you cheer a good play by the opposing team? If your team loses, do you take it well in stride? If you have answered yes to any of those questions, you are showing positive examples of sportsmanship. Don't forget that when you attend high school events, young eyes are watching you for examples of acceptable behavior. By making a conscientious effort, you'll be helping our students grow into better citizens. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. Okay, we are back for the top of the fourth inning. Trying to get things situated here on this table so not everything blows off. I've got stuff blowing around the entire ball field. Anyway, we have Bo Henry up to bat first. Ellsbury need to get some runs back. Swing and a miss. Ball high, one and one. High fly ball in foul territory and first baseman runs over and catches it. One away. Brings up Eli Gladney. Swing and a miss. Call strike two. Way outside, ball gets away, ball one. Ball hit to second base, throw over to first and they got him. Brings up Nickel Stone with two outs. And that camera movement you see there is not the new Madrid fault letting loose. It's about a 285 mile an hour gust of wind came through. That was a ball. High fly ball into right field, and he dropped it. So Nicholas Stone is on base with an error on the right fielder. Brings up Cody Thornhill with two outs, runner on first. Swing and a miss, strike one. Ball gets away and Stone is going on, on his way to second. So with two outs.
Ellsbury has a runner in scoring position. Ball hit the shortstop. The throw's over, and he missed that throw. It was in the dirt, and it came out of his glove. So Thornhill is safe on first, and Stone is on third. So we're at the top of the batting order now with Joel Mound. Two outs, runners at the corner. Ball one. Runner takes off to second uncontested. So Thornhill's in at second. Two runners in scoring position. Ball and a strike. Ball high. Ball hit to third and did not get there in time. He beat it out. And Nicholas Stone came around to score. Score is now five to three. Bodecker's on, hits a long fly ball. And it is a home run. Stevie Bodecker with a two run homer. And that ties it up at five. So we have a brand new ball game again. With two outs, bases are empty. Hold it, was that a? Call strike on Hill. Apparently, I've got the score messed up somewhere. I thought it was five to three. Apparently, it's six to three. They're showing visitors with. Okay, I'm gonna have to get get a correction on this score. No balls. Two strikes on Hill. I guess that was a three run homer. So it's six to five, Ellsbury. Change the score here. 
in a minute. Ball gets through. Two and two. Good thing I'm not the official scorer. And there's a full count on Garrick Hill with two outs, nobody on. Hard hit ball into right field, but right fielder doesn't even have to move to get it. So, halfway through the fourth inning, Ellsbury takes the lead, six to five. Hey, hon, what are you doing up so early? Oh, I'm just getting ready to take care of some stuff at the bank. The bank? I surely hope you're going to get dressed first. You'd get some pretty weird luck showing up in your robe and fuzzy slippers. <laughs> I'm not going to the bank. I'm doing it all right here from home, using People's Bank and Trust online banking and bill pay service. I can check our account balances, transfer money, make a loan payment, and even pay bills, all from the comfort of my pajamas. Best of all, it's free. Banking in your pajamas. Now, if we could only get the grocery store, to deliver. <laughs> Start banking online today by visiting us online at www.pbtc.net. People's Bank and Trust, hometown banking the way it should be. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Okay, we are having a pitching change here. Looks like Joel Mound coming in to pitch and Cody Thornhill is Going to play second base. He gets his obligatory eight pitches. And leading off for Buffalo this inning is number 27, Tyler Owens, the catcher. Okay, Ellsbury needs a stop here. Call strike one. Up and in, ball one. Ball two. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. So once again, leadoff batter for Buffalo reaches base on a walk. Brings up Jimmy Jenkins, top of the lineup.
call strike one. Foul ball, strike two. Ball high. That was close. Foul ball. Inside, ball two. Two and two, nobody out, one runner on. And a call strike three. Brings up Jaron Smith. With one out, he hits the ball to second. Wide short and safe at first. Just missed a double play. Okay, that brings up number 25, Brad Hosner. Ball one. Ball two. Ball three. Hard hit ball to center field. And Bo Hender is there with the catch and the out. Good catch there by Henry. So at the end of four, score is Ellsbury six, Buffalo five. The score of any athletic event is generally forgotten over time but the actions of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. Remember, the lessons you teach today will help develop better citizens in our communities for tomorrow. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and this local radio station. Tonight's game is not only a competitive contest between these two schools, but it's also an educational experience for the students involved. Because high school activities are about learning life values, your friends at this local radio station and the Missouri State High School Activities Association remind everyone to do their part in keeping our hometown sports a positive experience for everyone. When you attend your next game, do your part to help rekindle the spirit of citizenship by showing good sportsmanship. You'll be teaching a positive lesson, and you'll be preserving a proud tradition in the state of Missouri. All right, we are in the top of the fifth inning. Coming up to bat now is number 24, Jake Rimel, Ellsbury's catcher.
He squared up the bunt, but the ball was way outside. Hard hit ball down the first base side, but it's foul. One ball, one strike. Ball two. Three balls and one strike. And he takes his base. Lead off walk for Ellsbury. Brings up Kobe Twelman, right field. Throw over to first, keeps Rymel on. And Rymel takes off for second. And he's in there standing up. So, Twelman has a strike on him. And Rymel's in scoring position with no outs. Throw back to second, and he's in there. Squared up the bunt and just, just nicked it foul. That's no balls, two strikes on Colby Twelman. Rimel's on second with nobody out. Swung on and a foul ball. Still no balls, two strikes. Pitcher looks Rimel back to second base. High fly ball into right center. Drops in for a base hit. And Rymel is in to score. Okay, we have uh, one ball, no strikes on. There goes Henry, right to the shortstop. And out at second, but safe at first. So we now have one out. 
And it brings up Eli Gladney to bat. He squares up to bunt. And uh, hits a foul ball. Strike one. Call strike two. Uh, Eli Gladney is struck out, and Bo Henry stole second on that last pitch. So with two outs, we have Bo Henry on second, and Nick Stone up to bat, and having a conference out on the mound now. And it looks like Buffalo is going to get a new pitcher. Looks like Jaron Smith coming out as the pitcher. And I haven't seen yet who's going in. In the meantime, we are in the bottom of the fifth inning. I'm sorry, the top of the fifth inning. And uh, Ellsbury is ahead, 7-5. to five. Let's See, that's number eight pitching. That is Tyler Gash pitching for Buffalo now. So he comes in with two outs in the fifth inning. And Nicholas Stone's going to be coming up to bat. People's Bank and Trust invites everyone to come to the game, the high school sports games that are going on right now. All area teams have put a great amount of effort and time in to perfect their skills and they are ready to play. Support the community schools and students by cheering them on to a great season of games. People's Bank and Trust proudly supports the area teams and looks forward to seeing you at each and every game. Whether it's balls and strikes, fouls or flags, your referees and game officials are a vital part of high school athletics. If you've ever tried your hand at officiating, you know how hard these men and women work, and you certainly know that they would never miss a call intentionally. Keep these things in mind as you attend sporting events. After all, respecting officials and authority figures is one of the most valuable lessons that we can teach our students. This message has been brought to you by your friends at this local radio station and the Missouri State High School Activities Association. Okay, we are back with Nicholas Stone of the bat. First pitch is a Foul back behind us. No balls, one strike. Another foul. No balls, two strikes. And swing and a miss, strike out. That's a third out. But Ellsbury picked up another run. And halfway through the fifth inning, it is seven to five Ellsbury. 
You know, the people pulling the strings are usually hard to reach in today's mega bank world. But here at People's Bank and Trust, you deal with the decision maker at our community bank, which is what good banking relationships are all about. We all live and work right here. With us, you pull the strings. We're People's Bank and Trust. Troy, Hawk Point, Winfield, O'Fallon, Ellsbury, and Bowling Green. Financial security right here at home. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. You know the people pull Here at People's Bank and Trust, new technology improves our lives. We all know that, but when it comes to your money, wouldn't you just as soon deal with real people rather than recordings and electronics fingerprinting of the mega banks? We put technology to work so we can have more time for you. We're your community bank. People's Bank and Trust. Troy, Hawk Point, Winfield, O'Fallon, Ellsbury, and Bowling Green. Financial security right here at home. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Okay, we are back for the bottom of the fifth inning. Seven to five, Ellsbury over Buffalo. And Buffalo is going to be bringing number 28, Brock Wendlet, up to bat. And we have a new pitcher, Steve Bodecker. High fly ball in the infield. My God, it's a mile high. And it was dropped. That ball got caught up in the wind. So, Windlet is on to lead off the fifth inning for Buffalo. Brings up Derek Smith, third baseman. He squared up to bunt. Quick, quick throw down to first base, and he's back barely in time. Ball one, strike one. And a balk was called on Bodecker. Meanwhile, we have one ball and two strikes on Derek Smith. He squared up to bunt again, and the ball was outside, two and two. He bunted it foul. You know, somewhere along the line, I thought a foul on a bunt on your third strike was an out. Apparently not in high school anymore. Doesn't matter. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Brings up Tyler Gash. One away in the bottom of the fifth. Ball one. Ball two. Ball three. Call strike one. Call strike two, full count.
Ball hit the second. And he was out at first. That's two outs, and Trey Cruz is up to bat now. Takes a call strike. Buffalo does have a runner on third. Ball one. And he was out. Heck of a stretch there by Nick Stone. Heck of a stretch. So at the end of the end of five. Score is still seven to five. Everybody knows that high school sports generate suspense, excitement, and drama. They also generate higher grade point averages, stronger work habits, and greater self-esteem. Everybody knows that high school sports give us more value for our entertainment dollar. They also give us leaders, committed to strengthening communities right here in Missouri. The true value of playing sports in school can't be measured in wins and losses or dollars and cents. Studies show that participation in sports, along with other extracurricular activities, is one of the best ways to teach leadership, cooperation, accountability, and other invaluable life skills. Don't just stand on the sidelines. Encourage the young people you know to get in the game. When you do, you'll be helping them get ahead in life. High school sports. A winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Missouri State High School Activities Association and the Missouri Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. All right, we are back for the sixth inning. We still have Tyler Gash pitching for Buffalo. And Cody Thornhill is going to be coming up to bat for Ellsbury. Score is Ellsbury 7, Buffalo 5, top of the sixth inning. First pitch into Thornhill is a call strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. And he was hit by the pitch. That ball made a pretty good smack when it hit him in the back. Brings up the top of the lineup now. Joel Mound is up to bat. And runner is off to second, and he is in there. So Thornhill with the stolen base. Meanwhile, Mound has a ball.
Mound squared up to bunt, pulled it back. Two balls, no strikes. And he squared it to bunt, bunted it foul, strike one. Two balls, one strike. There's a bunt down to shortstop, and no play whatsoever. So Thornhill is on third, and Mound is on first with an infield hit. Brings up Bodecker to bat. Nobody out. Runners at the corners. And takes off running to second, uncontested because the throw was to third. So mound with a uncontested stolen base. Swing and a miss. That's one ball and one strike. Another swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Ball gets away, and here comes a runner in, and he is in. And that is Thornhill scoring, and Mound goes on to third. Makes a score eight to five. Meanwhile, we have one ball and two strikes. That should be two balls. Either way, that was a strikeout. Called out on strikes. So there's one out. Brings Gary Kill to bat. And he hit a half-hearted half ball back to the pitcher. And Garrick Hill's thrown out at first, but he does get mound home. So another run for Ellsbury, 9-5. to five. So with two outs, Jake Rimel's up to bat. Two balls, no strikes. Three balls, no strikes. Mm -hmm. 
There's a call strike. Three and one, two outs. And there's ball four. So, Kobe Twelman up to bat now with two outs and a runner on first. And that ball was about 20 feet over the catcher's head. So, Rimmel's on second base now. He was halfway to third. Foul ball back behind us. One and one on Twelman. Ball two. Ball three and a throw down to third, and Rimmel is in there. Two balls and a strike on Twelman. Little dribbler to the pitcher, over to first, and that is the third out. So Rimmel gets stranded on third. But Ellsbury picks up a couple of runs, and the score is now 9-5. Nine 9-5, to five. Nine to five. what a way to make a living. These days, the concept of value matters more than ever. And you'd be hard pressed to find a better value than high school sports. Extracurricular activities, including sports, make up about 2% of the budget for a typical Missouri high school. In return, participation in sports promotes citizenship and sportsmanship. Sports also instill a sense of community pride and teach lifelong lessons about cooperation and self-discipline. They encourage physical fitness. They produce community leaders. By offering so many benefits to the community for such a small percentage of a school's overall budget, it's easy to see why high school sports are one of the best bargains around. The real cost would come from not having them at all. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Missouri State High School Activities Association and the Missouri Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Hey, we are back. We are going into the bottom of the sixth inning. Ellsbury Indians leading the Buffalo Bison 9-5. to five. This is the kind of game, though, where you can expect something to change every at-bat. I don't think this game is that close to being over.
We have Cameron Portis up to bat now. Takes a ball high and inside. High fly ball right to center field and Bo Henry is there to get it. Tyler Owens up to bat now. Takes the ball high. Swing and a miss, strike one. Ball too high because it was a ball too high. Right to third base. Throws over and in time. Stone had to really stretch. He's been doing some stretching today. Two up and two down. Brings up the top of the lineup. Number seven, Jimmy Jenkins. He has struck out twice today and walked. Swing and a foul tip. Strike one. Strike two. Ball hit the third base. And the throw was off. And so he reaches safely. Brings up Jaron Smith. Ball one. With two outs, Buffalo has a runner on first. There is a call strike. One and one. Ball two. Ball three, good throw down to first base from Rimel. Just runner was a little bit quicker. Two and two on Jaron Smith. And he hits it to third base. And he is out for the third out. So, at the end of six, the score is nine to five, Ellsbury over Buffalo. Ever wonder where your hard-earned money goes when you deposit it? It stays here, at home, to help make living here what we've all come to expect. We've got everything the mega banks do, but we've made a commitment to our community. So, when you're looking for the right bank, see People's Bank and Trust. Troy, Hawk Point, Winfield, O'Fallon, Ellsbury, and Bowling Green. Financial security right here at home. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. All right. We are going into the top of the seventh inning. Score is 9 to 5, Ellsbury. Coming up first, batting first for uh, Ellsbury in this inning is number 20, Bo Henry, center field. Bo's reached on a fielder's choice. He, um, let's see, he reached. No, that's the only time he's reached. 
He reached on a fielder's choice. Struck out once and then hit a fly into foul territory that was caught by the first base. Last game, he had a long fly ball into left field. That one doesn't count towards this game, though. Ball down in the dirt, ball one. Second pitch, also in the dirt, ball two. Hard hit ball out into left center. And it is gone. Bo Henry with the home run. All the way around for Bo. That makes the score 10 to five. And once again, from a commercial standpoint, that home run could have been sponsored by your business. Come talk to us about that. Eli Gladney up to bat now. He took a look at ball one. Call strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. And a call, strike three. Brings up Nicholas Stone, number 28, first base. He's played a heck of a game at first base today. Call strike one. Long foul ball. Strike two. No balls, two strikes, one out. Little dribbler back to the pitcher. Over to first and out. That's two outs. Two outs for Ellsbury in the top of the seventh. Brings up Cody Thornhill. He was hit by the pitch last up and came around and scored after stealing a couple of bases. I believe that was ball one. And here comes a 
Foul ball back here. The ball, one ball, two strikes. Ball hit hard up between first and second. Thornhill is on with a two out hit. That brings up Joel Mound. Throw over to first, not in time. First pitch to mound is low and throw to second in not in time. So Thornhill is in the second with the stolen base. One ball, no strikes. Ball high. Ball low. We have three and oh. Thornhill still down there and at second with two outs. Ball four. Two out walk. Runners on first and second. Bodecker up to bat. Ball one to Bodecker. And the ball got away from the pitcher and and third base was stolen and second base was stolen. So with two outs, Bodecker up to bat and runners in second and third. Bodecker with one ball. And that's two. Two balls, no strikes, two outs, two runners on. There's a call strike. Two balls, one strike. High fly ball is going to go foul out of out of the field of play. Two balls and two strikes. Two outs, two runners on. A lot of twos coming up right now. Gary Kill is on deck if Bodecker can get on.
And there was a call strike three. Two runners left on base. So we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. 10 to five, Ellsbury over Buffalo. Let's just see if we can hold them. It may not require a textbook, but it's filled with valuable lessons. It may not take place in a classroom, but it's an ideal environment for learning. It may not involve a diploma, but it can help prepare Missouri's young people for life. It's high school sports. High school sports can play a critical role in a student's overall education. In fact, studies show that students that participate in high school sports are more likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in their academic lives. If you think high school sports are only about competition, think again. Better yet, think about attending a high school sporting event in your community. You'll be amazed by what you see. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Missouri State High School Activities Association and the Missouri Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. All right, first batter up to start this seventh inning for Buffalo is number 28, Brock Wendlet, and he just took a strike. Strike two. No, I said Brock Wendlet, Brad Hosner. And called out on strikes. One out. Bodecker still pitching. Now it's Brock Wimblett. Call strike one. Ball one. Ball two, high and outside. Or I could say it is ball two, high and outside. Depends on whether it was a TWO or a TOO. Doesn't matter because there was a called strike two, TWO. <laughs> Jake tried to pull that one in to frame it like a strike. But it was a ball. We have a full count on Brock Wendlet. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And that is two outs. So Ellsbury's one out away. Ball one on number six, Derek Smith. Ball two. Swing and a miss, strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. And that, my friends, is the end of the ball game. So, Buffalo was out one, two, three in that inning. Matter of fact, they were all three strikeouts. So, let's just do our post-game show. People's Bank and Trust knows that every minute of your day counts, so it's good to have a few time savers on your side. Take internet banking, for example. 
It allows you to bank from home rather than having to make an extra trip to the bank just to check your balance, transfer funds, or view recent transactions. You can even pay your bills online, eliminating a trip to the post office for stamps. Best of all, People's Bank and Trust offers all of this free of charge. Visit us online at www.pbtc.net and sign up today. Just another example of hometown banking the way it should be. People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. All right, well, there was a win for Ellsbury in that game. They uh, split the doubleheader today, losing to Herman in the first game and winning the second game by a score of 10-5. to five. And two home runs. Um, and a lot of good batting. They, uh, they were getting – first game they got – uh, base runners on, but couldn't seem to get them home. This time they were able to get them home, uh, scoring 10 runs. And uh, Bo Henry with his first home run of the season, I believe. And also some very good pitching from Ellsbury this game. There was uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Nine or ten strikeouts in uh, in this game, and that includes uh, Bodecker striking out the the side in the seventh inning to end the game. So um, once again, I know it's starting; to, it's getting late in the season, and <coughs> Ellsbury has not had a what you would call record-wise successful season, but. They have shown such improvement over this year. Um, you know, playing the game like they did today, they could go up against anybody. So, um, now, I know it's calling for, for rain all next week, but I do believe that, uh, let's see if I can, Let me see if I can get get the schedule up here. So we'll see when the next game is. We are looking at uh, Tuesday night. Let's see. That's versus uh, Mark Twain. Be at five o'clock at Ellsbury. So. Barring any rain, then our next broadcast is going to be from Ellsbury with a 5 o'clock game, which means I'll be going on the air about uh, 20 till 5, quarter to 5, somewhere in that vicinity. And so join me there. But next week we have a – there's a busy schedule next week. Um, let's see. What do we got here? We have Tuesday night uh, at Ellsbury versus Mark Twain, Wednesday night at Montgomery County, and Thursday night at Silex. So three games this next week. So join me for those games. Actually, come out in person if you can. That's always better. But if you can't or if you want to see these games later or whatever the reason, you know how to get a hold of it. Just go to the Ellsbury Democrat, get on YouTube, and then subscribe to this, and then you don't even have to do any of that. You can just uh, go straight to YouTube, hit your subscriptions, and go straight to these games. And you can watch it live if you're not there, or you can watch it uh, later. So especially games like this where you get to see a couple of home runs, and just good games all together. So anyway, from Herman, Missouri, this is Kenny Masterson saying good afternoon to everyone where we just watched the Ellsbury Indians split a doubleheader with Herman and Buffalo. So good afternoon, everyone, and I will see you Tuesday evening. Goodbye. <laughs>